Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint a Dark Disciple. Now the first colour that we're going to use is Vallejo German Grey. We're going to use this to paint all of his cloak. Now this is a fairly quick video today. I figured this miniature would be fairly quick and easy to paint up. And I'll be working on the Dark Apostle in the next few weeks. But I haven't had too much time, so I thought I'd do this guy just so we, we can get a full video. Even if it's not one of the usual miniatures that I'll be painting. I'll link up as well the other Dark Disciple miniature who I'll be painting on the blog. With that finished, we're now going to go on to Mephisto on Red. I'm going to use this to do the interior of the cloak, so all the parts in his sleeves and where the cloak sort of folded round by his legs. We'll be painting that all with this colour. That's it for the Mephiston Red. Now we're going to be using the Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. We're going to be doing just the sleeves on his forearms. Like so. The next colour that we're going to use is Citadel Lead Belcher. That's going to be to do the chain and the ball at the end of it. Now this guy is only five points worth for the miniature because he's the sidekick or one of the sidekicks for the Dark Apostle, giving him a bit of a bonus. So whether or not you actually want to paint him up really, really well, entirely up to you because he's likely to get the snot blown out of him really easily. That said, it is a great miniature, so you can spend quite some time on it. It's got plenty of details to keep you going. When we come back, we'll have all of this lead belcher finished. Now we're moving on to a little bit of Citadel Retributor armour. That's going to be to do all the Chaos symbols, so the eight-pointed star he's holding in his hand, and also the two little symbols the one that's hanging from his belt and his belt buckle. We'll just carry on with that. When we come back, we'll be on to the next colour. Now we're going to use Citadel Mournfang Brown. The only thing that really is for is his belt, the pouch at the back, and the two little straps around the scrolls. Like so. Now we're using Citadel Ricard Flesh. We're going to use this as the base coat for the two scrolls and also for the skull. like so. Now we're going to go on to Vallejo Flat Flesh, which is a nice pale skin colour. I've been using Base Flesh on the Chaos Space Marines, so I figured I'd give this guy a paler skin colour, because we're going to make him look a little bit more unhealthy looking than the Marines do. Now 
We'll just finish that off, then on to the next colour. Now we're using Vallejo White, and that is going to be to do the flames, or the smoke that's coming out the back of the skull. I'm going to do it as fire, so it ties in nicely with the Master of Possessions that we painted a while ago. So for this you want to be getting a nice smooth white layer, so it may take you a few coats to get that smooth layer. But just keep going until it is really, really flat white colour, because that will work better when you start doing the shades for the flames. When we come back, we'll have all of the white finished. Now we're just going to be using a little bit of Vallejo Black. That's what's going to be used to do his shoes and the underside of his cloak where it sort of flares up. Like so. Now we're just going to be using Vallejo Beige Brown. And that's just to do all the chords on the model. So you've got the ones holding the chaos symbol on his belt, and also you've got some just beneath his hood. Like so. Moving on to the shades now, we're going to start with Citadel Null Oil. Now, a huge amount of the model is getting this, so all of his robes, or the black parts of his robes, and the grey, you're going to be doing that with Null Oil. And also all the silvery metallics, so the chain and the ball at the end of it as well. Gonna keep doing this and we'll come back to the next colour. Next we're just gonna be using a little bit of Rightland flesh shade, and that's just to do all of his skin. Like so. Now we're moving on to Citadel Seraphim Sepia. I'm just going to use this on the scrolls and also on the skull. Like so. Now the reason we left the eyes white when we did the Seraphim Sepia is so that we could use the Citadel Cassandora Yellow just to make it look like the inside of the skull's glowing with a bit of fire. We're also going to use this to paint the whole length of the flame as its initial base colour. Like so. The next colour that we're going to use is Citadel Duty Violet Shade, and that is going to be to shade all the areas that we've used my fist on red. Like so. Now we're moving on to Citadel Agrax Earthshade, and this is going to be to do all of the gold. Like 
like so. Now we're going to use Citadel Fugan Orange, and this is going to be to do the flames. Now I'm doing this a bit more haphazard than I did the flames on the Master of Possession. As I say, it's only a five point model, so he's going to die pretty quickly. So I figured that I'd just do a bit of a quicker flame on this model than I did on the other. Like so. Now we're going to move on to Citadel Carrowbird Crimson. Add a few more little bits to the flames. Add a little bit around the eyes there to give them the sort of fiery glow. And darken up the back end of the flame. Like so. Now it's Citadel Agrax Earthshade. We're going to start shading the skull. Now I'm using Agrax Earthshade for this, and I'm going to be using Null Noil to follow. And it's just to darken it up to make it look as though it's charred. So you want to keep adding layers of Agrax Earthshade just to darken it up, making sure you don't get it in the eyes or in the little holes in the head. And just keep doing layer after layer after layer to darken it up. And then we're going to do a couple of layers of Null Noil just to finally char it. I'm now going to use a little bit of Null Noil to darken up and char the skull. And this is the last part that we'll be doing on the skull. Again, you're avoiding the holes in the eye sockets and just charring up the areas of bone around them. Like so. We're also going to use a little bit of Null Noil, not to do too much smoke on the flame, but just to darken up a few little bits of it. Now the areas I've gone for, there's a few little bits that look like a bit more rounded than the flame areas, so I've kind of gone for them and darkened them down with a little bit of Null Noil, but I haven't gone overboard with it. Like so. Now we're moving on to Vallejo German Grey, and we're going to be using this just to reapply colour to his cloak. We come back, we'll have all this grey finished. We've just added a little bit of Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey to the Vallejo German Grey. We're just going to apply the first layer of highlights to his cloak. Like so. Now we're just going to use a little bit of pure Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey, and this is just to do the extreme highlight on the cloak. So you want to be doing the underside of any little holes that are in his cloak, and any thin ridges where it'd be catching the light, the very extreme edges of any raised details, just to give it that final highlight. Like so. Now I'm going to start working on his skin. So we're returning to Vallejo Flat Flesh. 
We're just going to reapply that as a base layer, making sure that you leave some of the Reichland flesh shade in the recesses. Like so. Now adding some deepkin flesh from Citadel and mixing that with the flat flesh just to give this a highlight of a slightly off skin colour. I want the cultists and these Dark Disciple chaps to have a bit of a sickly pallor, so I'm doing them with the deepkin flesh just to make them that little bit pale bluish kind of colour. Like so. Now we're going to add a little bit more deepkin flesh to that previous mix. We're going to do another highlight to his skin. This time we're mainly doing the top edges or the areas that catch the most light. Like so. Now we're moving on to Citadel Retributor Armour. We're just going to reapply that to some of the golden areas. Now again you want to try and get this in the areas that are going to catch the most light. Because then we're going to add another two layers of highlights on top of this. And when we come back, we'll have all this layer finished. Now I'm just going to use Citadel Liberator Gold, and this is to highlight the gold sections on them. So where you've put the Retributor Armour previously, you want to be adding the Liberator Gold to around half that area. like so. And finally we've added a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold and we're just going to do some extreme highlights on the edges. Vallejo Model Air Chrome is a really really good colour because it just adds that little bit of extra shine that I've not found with other paints so far. It means the edges stand out and it gives a good reflection. Like so. Now we're using a little bit of Citadel Rakarth Flesh. I'm going to reapply the colour to the scrolls. like so. I've added a little bit of white to the Rakar flesh. I'm just going to highlight the scrolls. As always you want to try and be getting the bits that be exposed to the light more. So the very bottom edge of the scrolls there. And also the top areas where you can see the coil of the scroll as well. Like so. Now add a little bit more white to the mix again. We're just going to do one final highlight on the scrolls. 
it's just going to be on the very very edges of the areas that you've just highlighted like so now it's Vallejo beige brown we're just going to reapply some color back to the cords around his neck and hang him from his belt like so now we're going to use a little bit of citadel mournfang brown just to reapply some color to his belt and his pouch like so now onto citadel lead belcher we're just going to get that shine back onto the chains onto the ball at the end there like so now we're going to use Citadel and the fist on red and we're going to start reapplying colour back to the inside of his cloak so leaving some of the juicy violet in the recesses We come back, we'll have all the red finished. Next, we're just going to use a little bit of Citadel Wasdaka Red. We're just going to do a highlight on the red areas that we've just painted. Like so. Now, while we've got the Wasdaka Red out, we're just going to do the first highlight on his eye lens. This is going to be the bottom left hand half of the lens. We're going to use Wasdaka Red on it. And we're going to mix a little bit of Leo White with the Wasdaka Red. And we're going to do another highlight. And it's going to be the bottom left hand quarter that we're painting with this. And finally, we're just going to use some pure Vallejo white to do a dot in the top right of the lens and a dot in the bottom left of the lens. Like so. Now we're going to be using Citadel Mechanicus Standard Grey. I'm just going to reapply some colour to his forearms. Now you're only adding this to around the top half of his sleeve, leaving some of the German grey and the shade in the recesses. Like so. Now we're just going to add some white to the Mechanicus Standard Grey and do a little highlight on his sleeve. And a highlight you only want on maybe the top quarter of his sleeve. Like so. And that is the Dark Disciple finished.
Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below so you don't miss any future content, and also think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much.